Hi there, welcome to my channel. This is Iman Neo and we are looking at the Flutter for Fun blog. This is a blog that I created around four years ago and I supposed to implement some UI challenges in form of blog post. Now I decided to have some videos, some overview videos about them and after that we will have new UI challenges here in this channel. So don't forget to subscribe the channel to watch the further videos. So in this episode or in this video we are going to take a look at the UI challenge 5 and UI challenge 6. To have an overview I will start with UI challenge 5. This is a beautiful uh, a slider or something like that. I will play the video. It's something like this. Yeah, basically you have a list of images and when you scroll, you see a parallax effect. We, we call this effect parallax. So you, you show a part of a specific part of an image and i will jump into the details but before that i want to show you the creator of this design he is marcus engestrop dressler something like that sorry if i'm pronouncing it incorrectly but yes i will put the link into the description he has a dribble uh, profile and yeah i just wanted to say thanks to him so uh, i started implementing this uh, UI challenge by a widget called uh, parallax image. So the point is that to have a variable called horizontal slide which is a variable that determines which part of the image should be shown. So suppose that we have an image like this and uh, we want to show this amount of the image. So the horizontal slide tells me which part of the image should be shown. We have an image.network here and in the alignment uh, this is the place that we determine which part of the image should be shown so we have the horizontal slide here i think it would be uh, something between minus one to plus one zero means in the center minus one means here or plus one means here so uh, in the next step i just used a simple page view which has a controller and um, it has a viewport fraction which makes this beautiful list so we have some items and the middle item takes 60% of the space or something like that this way we can see some part of the next item and the previous item as you see and here we have a page controller which has a listener and here it calls whenever you slide the list and it returns the page controller dot page i mean this is a variable that determines the state of the list so for example it starts from zero so if you are seeing the zero item it is zero if you are uh, in the first item or in the uh, one index it is one but if you are between uh, one and two it is one and a half so it's a floating point number and in the next step we have this logic so basically we convert the page number value to something like minus one and plus one for each individual item for example look at the green one it is uh, zero now it is minus one when it uh, goes here and also when you scroll it on the right it is one so the same logic happens for the other cards for example uh, look at the blue one it is zero and then it is one and yeah now we pass this variable to the horizontal slide variable of the parallax widget that we already created and here horizontal slide is this variable and as a result we have this beautiful list so it is done as you see we have a logic to have a number between minus one and plus one for each item and then we pass it to the alignment property of the image so it determines which part of the image should be shown and as a result we have this effect also we we change the height of the image it should be here yeah we we use the scale variable it's a variable using the horizontal slide and it says okay if it is a zero the height should be large larger than the normal but if it is minus one or plus one the height should be less so 
yeah here is the source code if you want you can take a look at the source code and just like the previous challenges this is the old code or project it is for three years ago and you cannot run it directly because uh, it is old and you need to migrate it to be able to run it with the newest flutter version and if you have time i would be happy if you migrate the code to be able to work with the newer flutter versions then i can deploy it somewhere in the web and we can interact with it and let's go to the second one i mean the, the the sixth ui challenge it is juice product app by arman chothandri nijum something like that yeah i have the op labs link i will put the link into the description you can take a look at uh, his designs yeah, this UI challenge has two parts. The first part has a list. So we have some items, juice items, and each item has a container and an image that overlays with a larger size. And also here we have a blurred button bar. Also we have a top bar, it is too simple. And in the second part, we have a counter, which is here. We have a container maybe and images here and also here we have a list of reviews so let's get started with the first page i will show you the result this is the result here is the list and when you click this page opens the counter works like this and yeah this is the result that we are going to get Okay, let's get started with the juice row item. To implement this, we need to have a container, which the height is a little bit less than the row item. Then our image height is the highest possible height. Then you see this effect that it feels that the orange is on top of the cart. To implement that, we have a container, which has a simple color with the aspect ratio of 1.25. And after that, we added a, a stack widget here. We added the container, we added the row, and in the row we have a placeholder and also a size box that contains an image. There's a point about the placeholder. It's a simple widget created by the Flutter team. I mean, you can use it in your app. It is too simple. It just draws a rectangle or a square with a cross lines in it and um, it is useful for when you are implementing a design but you are not sure about a specific part or you want to implement it later so you can use placeholder to just have the space and then after that you can get back and replace it so for here we just used a placeholder and an image and in the later or in the next steps we can replace it with the text that we have yeah, so here we uh, used a layout builder. So a layout builder is a builder or is a parent that gives you the constraints. With the constraints, you can have access to the max width and max height. So this is the width and height that is restricted for your widget in this section of widget tree. So you have to build a widget with these constraints, max width and max height. So here we have an X stack that is already created in the previous step. And here we created a top padding. So we want to show a container with a less height. To do that, we uh, created a top padding, which is the 20% uh, of the height. And then we added this top padding as a margin for the container. So our container has a top margin, which is 20% of the height. It means that our container height is 20% less than the item height. And after that here we have a row which has expanded and also we have a size box of our image. So our image is in the full height. So this uh, way you see that the juice item or juice image is on top of the box and it is out of the box. And in the next step, we added these text. So it is simple. We have a column and also we have some text here. One important point is that we used rich text for the price so it combines some different text styles together and as a result you have a single widget so here we say that okay we need to 
have a dollar sign with font size of 16 and then we want to have this number with font size of 30 and font weight of w800 so this is a, a single widget we don't have two different texts or two separate texts we only have a text which is combined together using this rich text widget and here we have the juice item so this is a simple data class it holds the name image price and color so we created a list of them just like something that we have in the design and also here we created a list view that builder which has the item count equals to juice list dot length and for each item we return a juice widget and yeah that's it and in the next step we are implementing the top bar it should be a row yes here it should be a row which has two images and one text in the center it is wrapped with a container that uh, to, to limit the height so we have 38 as the height and we have some margin here and as a char as a body or something like that because our scaffold body is a column here we have the top section top bar and here we have an expanded widget which takes the whole space that we have in the page and here we only created a list view that builder which is uh, exactly this list and so we have uh, the list of items juice items there and in this step we are implementing a bottom navigation bar which is blurred it is important to blur something in flutter we use backdrop filter so uh, backdrop filter you can watch the video i will put the link into the description so backdrop filter just accepts a filter and you can have image filter dot blur it blurs the widget with the background image color or anything it has so here for example we will have a container which has a backdrop filter so yeah here here we have a backdrop filter filter is image filter dot blur and uh, as a child we have four items yes these are four icons we have a simple icon and the parent is a container color is white with opacity of 20% as you see our blurred container has some white inside it and the height is 64 and we have the padding and as a wrapper we have clip or rect so as you see we have a radius in our corners and also we have a stack widget behind the list is the widget that we already created which contains the top bar and the list and align bottom center is the parent of the cliff object which shows the bottom bar which has the blurred white background and uh, let's move on the next page so the second page uh, here we have multiple components at first we have a background image with a container that has radius on the bottom left and bottom right and also we have a counter widget and then we have some text rating bar description and this kind of things so uh, let's get started with the counter widget basically we have a row which contains some uh, size box icon size box text icon so basically we have three widget, three main widgets here two icons and a text in the center uh, just like this and as a result we have this widget uh, i mean we created the estate to uh, keep the count variable as a estate but uh, as you see we have a problem here when you increase or decrease the number the width of our widget changes so the point is that we have different width for the different numbers for example if it gets larger than 10 you see that it needs more space and it increases the width of the widget uh, to fix the issue we need to wrap our text with a size box I mean we need to define a maximum width for our text and I use 30 here so this way we don't have any issue with the uh, width of our uh, widget uh, yeah and in the next step we implement the top section so in the top section we only have a container 
and a child image so we have some calculations again we are, we are using layout builder to have the constraints so it tells us how much space can we use in in this uh, point of widget tree and we use some calculations for example image height is 70 percent of the maximum height and yes as a result we have this image with a yellow background which has corner radius on the bottom left and the bottom right and here we just put it in a stack and we just add a counter widget wrapped with an align widget which is a bottom center and as a result we have this shape and yeah the point is that uh, here we added a bottom margin for our uh, container 26 and it is half of our counter widget height so we hard coded it here and as a result when you have the bottom center alignment it uh, moves on the bottom of our stack and as a result you have this uh, shape and in the next step we implement the page content which is this section we use a row for the rating bar it generates five item of a star icon with a yellow color or orange color and then we have a list view which has a text and also a description here so this is too simple and in the next step we have a list view what is this list view oh this is for uh, the images in this list view we have uh, at first it should be a horizontal list view so we have axis horizontal for a scroll direction and we have a separator builder so one important point is that we are using list view that separated instead of list view that builder so this way we have an extra builder called separator builder it builds something between your items so here we said okay we want to have an empty space between the items which is 18 and in the item builder we only have an image so it is too simple and also the list view is wrapped with a size box of 48 as height and here we have the row that is for uh, reviews and we have a size box and also we have this list that we already created for the app bar again we have a row which has a back icon on tap we have navigator of context.pop which moves to the uh, previous page we have a text in the center and also we have an icon here for the shop and for the price section uh, yeah as you see we have a row it has an expanded widget which takes all the available space that we have and in the next widget we have a size box of button this is this button and inside the expanded we have a rich text again just like the previous text we have a combination of a dollar text and a number with different text styles here and yes as a result we have this beautiful ui challenge implementation and yeah so let's take a look at the source code source code is here i will put the link into the description and yeah this is uh, again it is a uh, an old source code for three years ago if you want to contribute to the open source community it's a good starting point you can uh, try to migrate the code to the newer flutter versions and i would be happy and thankful and then i can publish it or deploy it in the web somewhere in the web then we can uh, interact with it in an online environment and in the next step we are going to take a look at this sample uh, ui challenge 7 8 and 9 three of them together and after that we are going to implement a new because this is the last post and after that we are going to implement a completely new ui challenge in this channel we using our video i mean instead of blog posts we will have some videos to implement ui challenge and we have more details there so don't forget to subscribe the channel and stay tuned for the next video bye